Hair by Lady Gaga. I'm gonna break Hair by Lady Gaga into four chunks, four or five chunks that you can uh, use and just put together to get the song. So the first chunk you need to know sounds like this. That's the four chord loop, and you just loop that, those four chords. So those four chords are F, so in your left hand play you got Fs, um, in your right hand you've got F, A, C, and another F if you can reach it. One, two, three, four, then you're gonna move to C. So left hand plays Cs, your right hand has G, C, and E. Two, three, four, then D minor, so left hand has Ds, your right hand has A, D, and F. Two, three, four. B flat. So your left hand has D's, I mean sorry, B flats. And your right hand has F, B flat, D, and if you can reach that second F, another F. So that's your four chord loop. F, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, D minor, two, three, four, B flat, three, four. Cool. So that's chunk one. The next chunk you need to know, is coming and I'm putting them in the order that they sort of appear, is D minor, so you've already played that chord before, D's in your left hand, A, D, and F in your right hand. Then C, C's in your left hand, G, C, E, and G in your right hand. Then you jump down to an F, F's in your left hand, F, A, C, and F in your right hand. Two, three, four, B flat, B flat's in your left hand, um, F, B flat, D, and another half if you can reach it. So that's your four chord loop for the second part. You'll notice it uses the same chords as the first one, just rearranges their order, which is pretty, pretty simple for us. We just have to remember those four chords in the right order. So there's this little sort of interim, uh, this sort of interim part that appears twice throughout the song where you just play a D minor chord. So I play it like this, D, A, D in your left hand, F, A, D in my right hand. And it sort of holds that for an extended period of time. And then it'll jump into one of the other parts, right? So that's, well, even though it's just one chord, I'm gonna call it a, a chunk, all right? So the fourth part you need to know is the bridge, which sounds like this, B flat, three, four, C, F, B flat, four. And then it repeats, B flat, C, three, four, F, two, three, four, B flat, okay? So it's a four chord loop, just like the other, uh, the first two, and the, they use the same chords as before, except we sort of take the D minor out. So I'll show you again, B flats first, in your left hand you've got B flats, in your right you've got an F, a B flat, a D, another F if you can reach it, B flat, C, so C's in your left hand, G, C, and E in your right hand, F in your left, uh, and then move to F, so F's in your left hand, F, A, C, and F in your right hand, and then B flat, so B flats, F, B flat, D, and F. Okay, so that's your bridge, you're pretty much done. If you want to sort of get extra credit, you can play this little piano riff, which goes like, sounds like this. That riff is just an, a B flat, A, F, D, C, B flat, C. say play it with it whatever fingers you, you can do to play it easily. I find myself playing it um, with a three and a slide down. Three, three, two, one, three, two, three, or three, 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 two, one, two, one, two. Whatever is easiest for you is the key, right? You want it to be uh, smooth and sound right. Okay, so that's it. I hope this helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.